It's me. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water for the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate? Really fell off a building for this? So important. Yeah, encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theatre. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. a map of the east side shoreline but it could mean any number of things money weapons drugs everything flows through that port maybe it's where mayor hill picks up his dry cleaning hmm. can't make sense of it yet there's still plenty of files to decrypt and in the meantime i saved you what i could Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Found her. Not 
not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. You think he's looking for a handout? He would have come to the right person. No, because I'm... Because you're generous. A little too much sometimes, with your wealth, your time, and even your well-being. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. statue, but no Oz. Well, that isn't what it used to be. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, 
You heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him! Gentlemen! Oz? Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, in the uh, moment! Come here! Think that'll do? Uh, Stay down! Be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Hey, I could have handled that myself. You mean a knife handle in the back? Because that's what would have happened, mate. Uh, no offense. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh. Uh, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. This place is a wreck. It's better off bulldozed. This park still matters to me, Bruce. It's all my folks left behind. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. Well, that's just the way it goes sometimes. It's out of our control. Well, obviously, but you don't have to be a dick about it. You know, when I saw you at the party last night, I thought... Bruce Wayne. Ah, has it changed a bit? Maybe I was wrong. Shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Bacconi made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And. It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. 
Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility, one that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, we won't fail those who need us most. We All right, who's up next? Oh, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? 
But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... I'm a bit busy right now, Miss Vale. As you can see, Gotham's finest, not the best house guests. Yeah, the kind who steal things. Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. 
Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Well, first guess, nosy reporters. The public's fascinated with you, Mr. Wayne. A scandal like this, it's a reporter's dream. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record, right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Turn it off, Miss Vale. Oh, but Bruce... Until I know what's really going on, I am not speaking to the press again. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. 